Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, we back. Good fellow sports TV. Jump right into it. Adrian Broner uh, pleads guilty to misdemeanor assault charge and uh, unlawful restraint. I believe it was. I linked the article in the description from the boxing scene in connection with a, a situation he had in Cleveland a couple years ago at the NBA Finals um, at an after party with a young Cleveland woman. Uh, when we back, it's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Talk some good ish and um, apparently uh. He reimbursed her uh, for almost $5,000 or $4,200 in medical bills, I believe it was. Um, so I don't know exactly, you know, uh, the physical extent of what he done, but let's go over the story and then we can go over the charges. The stories was there was that after party in Broner uh, allegedly pressed itself upon her, laid his body weight, tried to kiss her, and apparently she tried to bend away and move away from Broner, but Broner put his weight down on her. And kind of held her down allegedly and tried to lay a fat one on her. And uh, she went to go. No, she said none of the dudes in the VIP section of the of this Cleveland club. It was, you know, kind of like a, a finals after party thing. Obviously, they was, it was one of the Browns here a couple years ago. And none of the guys around security, you know, tried to get Broner off, off of her. And then she went and filed a police report. So here we are now um, talking about this situation. And it's, it's unfortunate, though, man, that Adrian Broner... Is keep you know keep being synonymous with some of these situations that he shouldn't even be in. You know what I'm saying? He around here losing money and, and losing a ton of things because you know I don't know what it is. Is it just his personality? He's a people person. He's a filler, or is it something mentally wrong in his head? You know what I'm saying? Or you know just he one of those guys that as a kid they say he'd grow out of it. He'd get it. He'd get it. He eventually get it, and he never really got it. You know, and that could be the case. He was always getting slaps on the slaps on the wrist and still in life. He made enough money in the boxing game to still get a slap on the wrist, you know. But one day reality don't come and it may not come in, in the in the uh reality of the law, you know, or you know, in the law or a, a lengthy jail sentence. It may come in the reality of him losing his life if he don't learn how to keep his hands together. You don't know who girlfriend you could be messing with, what gang member, what gangster, what crazy brother, you know, she might have. You know, but it's unfortunate. And yet, no, this is not the case in Atlanta where he allegedly groped a woman in her private area. He beat that case. Well, he was proved they had they didn't have enough evidence in that case. So he he they dropped the charges in that case for Adrian Broner when it came to the Atlanta case when he allegedly groped a woman in the mall. They had insufficient evidence to prove that he done anything. No camera caught him. No, not enough credible eyewitnesses. So you know he this is second assault case. So. Pretty much in this country, if you got money, um, <laughs> if you got money, you can beat the case. You know, you're not going to jail. And Broner's proved that time and time again. Matter of fact, was it knocking old boy out at the uh, at the uh, on a strip in Las Vegas and a lot of other stuff he he he's been alleged or synonymous with. But you know, with this uh, these charges that he got, where like I said before, he pleaded guilty. Twenty nine year old Broner pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor charge of assault and unlawful restraint. This is on the heels of the trial he was about to have. And in the heels of the trial he was about to have, they came to an, a, plea, a, plea, a plea deal. That's what it sounded like. And this happened in 2018 in downtown Cleveland nightclub. But Broner will receive a six-month suspended jail sentence placed on probation for two years. And he also has to... Uh, Pay a thousand dollar fine, reimburse the woman for more than forty two hundred in medical bills, and um, they said a thirty five year old woman told Cleveland police that she went to a park social club and at some point was sitting in a VIP section when Broner came up to her out of nowhere and allegedly laid on top of her and started forcibly kissing her. Allegedly, this was the second assault sexual assault case Broner finished up in recent weeks. Uh, Broner's attorney Ian Friedman said in a statement uh, that there that the two were very pleased to put the matter behind him. You know, while confident in a successful outcome at a trial, Browner, Browner excuse me, opted to accept the, sli the slight, the significantly reduced misdemeanor plea 
to that he could immediately return to focus on his professional career free from further distraction, Friedman said. You know, and like I said before, last month, prosecutors in Atlanta uh, dismissed a, a misdemeanor assault, sexual assault, battery, and other charges brought to Broner in February 2018. A woman accused of him groping her inside the Louis Vuitton store at the mall. So, he got suspended six months sentence. So, at some point, he going to have to serve six months in jail. You know, unless they can get that put off and pay that off where that won't happen. So... Um, you would think he'll try to knock his six months off immediately, but he do got to get back in the ring pretty soon and, and bring some money, bring some bacon to the table. So financially, he got to get some things in order for his life, make sure his girl got enough money to spend for six months. That is a half a year. Shit, a day in the, in the penitentiary is a day too long, man. So those six months, he won't get back, but he put himself in that position. And don't forget as a, a teenager, he, I think he missed out on the Olympics because he was in jail. You know, got out of that case, and he's just been, you know, blessed by or anointed by God. Somebody must have prayed over him as a child, man, because he got more close calls than a little bit, man. But, you know, he's going to be in more stuff after this. He ain't going to learn the money losses, the going through the attorney fees, with people call and tell him you got to do better. But his mom and daddy probably tell him you got to do better. His twin brother tell him you got to do better. Hearing from Al Heyman, all these other people. He's been through this situation a thousand times before, shot at before. Punching the dude in the club. Hardy got beat up the water of a club in Houston, allegedly. All this stuff that he been through. All the trouble and the stuff I'm not even thinking of. Burning the money. You know, uh, getting sued over sex tape. Getting sued over jewelry. You know, he's just able to get away with it because he got money. He got power behind him. But at some point, you know, you ain't going to box forever. And at some point, you're not going to have the power behind you neither. And at some point, all this shit going to catch up to you. And you're going to go to trial and somebody ain't going to just take a payoff or they're not going to give you a slap on the wrist because your money not going to be there. And they're going to use all this against him. He's not going to learn. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know how the Adrian Broner story is going to end. Everybody know how it's going to end. It ain't going to end well. There's nobody there that can sit him down and tell him, hey, look here. You got to do better. They tried it with Floyd. I'm pretty sure Al tried to talk to him. And what's so bad about it, his homie, Javante Tank Davis, is going down that same, same road, man. These little dudes got all this money. They want to act like they big and want to get revenge on everybody and think because you got a little bit of money, you can go around and do whatever you want. Look here. You ain't no uh, no billionaire or a trillionaire. You ain't nowhere near that. There's a ton of people that got way more money than you. So you going around here trying to be the king of the slums and stun that people in the hood. And only take one guy or one person you mess with and somebody uh, pop yourself and you in your career or you meet or you begin your career with meeting God. So... At some point, he's going to need to quiet down, pipe down, and get it together. But don't nobody believe this brother can get it together. You know, nobody can believe he's going to get it together. So we all at the edge of our seats waiting to see how his career ends and waiting to see how his life's going to end. We ain't nobody hoping that, but that's what everybody thinking. You know, this, this, this dude is an idiot. An idiot. And he ain't changed for his kids. He ain't changing for his family. He ain't changing for his fiance. He ain't changing for the love of the game. He ain't changing for, for them, them commas, them O's. Then what are you going to change for? This dude was an asshole at 18, a punk at, at, at 20, 18, and all that. And he's still the same little punk going into his 30s. No maturity. Maturation process missed him, you know. It missed him. And if he don't get it together, man, he, he going to end up seeing he going to be inside the box. He going to be inside the casket or he going to be inside the pen, one or the other. And don't nobody hope that on him, but everybody know where it's going. And can't nobody reach him, you know. Ain't nobody touch him, no life morals and no integrity and nothing. He was one of them dudes that got to pass his whole entire life. No matter who whoop him inside the ring, who whoop him outside the ring, or how many shots they fire off at young, a young boy, he's going to be the same dude. You know what I'm saying? And, and the special privilege is going to run out. His luck going to run out. You know, but now he got a little six months of his life at some point. Now he lost over five $5,000, you know. It's a small change to him, but when you on your knuckles, you can't fight no more. You can't make no more in a square circle. Your business ain't popping no more. That 5000 you're going to think about that 5000 when you're hungry. When you back in Cincinnati, back on your knuckles, back walking to the gas station, to the liquor store. Oh, yeah, I remember him he used to fight, but hey, it is what it is. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing is eighteen percent off the hundred percent all natural products. Uh, website promo code in description. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or a video request. Continue to share the videos. I definitely appreciate all the love and all the support. And I got some announcements I will be making at some point in this uh, this week. So uh, it's changes. So hopefully everybody can follow me around these changes and continue to support. Appreciate it. Article link in the description. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section.